Hi everyone, this is Jessica and I'd like to take a brief moment to show you how to set up Google Forms to be able to go to a different page depending on how participants answer. So you need to think this one through a little bit because each uh, variable will go on a different section. Uh, so this is one of those uh, you might want to plan out on paper first. Uh, let me show you how I set mine up. So my first question is the one that's going to trigger uh, the variables. Uh, first I guess I ask name but then I'm asking are participants registering requesting or offering to lead or attend an event now I don't want my participants to see all the questions after that it would be a waste of time and quite confusing so I want them to go to a different page based on how they answer this question um, so what I've done is I've added I've written all of my questions for each section and to do that to make your different sections most people just make their quiz on one giant section and just leave it alone and that's normally fine but in this case you have to break it up into different sections and so how you do that is you need to make sure you pay attention to where your cursor is placed uh, so I'm going to I want a new let's just say I want a section 5 so I'm going to put my cursor here at the the end of this last question and then click add section and now it bumps me down a new section and I can start adding my new question and so that allows me to go back up to question number one here and be able to say, depending on if someone picks this radio button or this, this button here, that they will go down to this section. Okay. Uh, if you don't watch out how you, where you have your cursor, uh, it can be kind of troublesome because you can't move the sections without installing an add-on. Uh, so the default setting in Google is no moving sections. Okay, so once you get these all made, you want to make sure you've made them in the right order. So watch where you have your cursor. Just so you know, if you get into a bind, you can install an add-on. Uh, so you get your add-ons on the three little dots in the top right corner, and you'll click add-ons. And the add-on you'll want is called Page Mover. And Page Mover allows you to be able to move sections just in case you forgot. So that's what happened to me. I made all these sections and then realized I didn't make them in, like, I wanted to add a new section and it bothered me. Now, some people really don't care. Like, it doesn't matter because you're going to have participants go to a certain page based on an answer anyway. But I am uh, a little bit linear with making Google Forms and in order for me to keep it straight I wanted my pages to be in a certain order uh, so if that doesn't bother you then you don't have to try to move sections uh, but if that if you're very particular you want your sections to be in the order that you wrote your your question number one here uh, you can do two things one make sure your cursor is in the right place like here at, and then click to add a section or just add the Google add-on called page mover and then you can do whatever you want okay so let's just assume here I have made my sections I've got my four sections and number section number one has the triggering question here okay so um, what I'm gonna do here is not click uh, there's nothing I, I can I can only add pictures and delete stuff here or rearrange the order of my questions it's these three little buttons here I want to pay attention to so I'm going to go ahead and click that and click go to section based on answer now things start changing a little bit I can decide uh, so if, if they select registering they'll go to the registering section next if they're requesting <laughs> and if they go to the offering let's see we'll they'll go to the offering page so there and, and something so what that means though is you're gonna wanna pay attention to what you title these sections so the first time I tried this I left everything untitled not not thinking I was in a rush and when I went to go name these things then I realized oh I need to uh, actually know what these are titled right so uh, it would help me to know that so make sure you title your sections appropriately here the other thing you need to pay attention to is when participants are done with this question so which click on the training or workshops you'd like to attend where do I want them to go next the default is to go to the next section which is a terrible idea because then participants will go on to start requesting things that I didn't want them to see so I need to click this and then go down to submit form again for requesting I need to click this and go down to submit form and offering 
last thing I don't need to change because the next section for them is to indeed submit the form. So there you have it. That's how to alter a Google form. So depending on how they answer a particular question, they would go to a certain page.